Hi everyone, welcome to Blonde Around the World. My name is Angela and today I'm going to talk about the five questions I'm always getting asked about traveling solo. So stick there, let's do this. Well, the first question everybody asks me is uh, if I feel lonely during my trips or if I get bored. Well, actually, no. First of all, because I really enjoy traveling solo. Second, because when you travel solo, you are forced to get out of your comfort zone. You don't have to be on your shell like when you are with friends or family or in a group travel. No, because you are all by yourself. <laughs> You have to rely on your guts, you have to deal with your company, you have to deal with your demons, you have to enjoy your company, you have to feel good with yourself to do this. So uh, you learn a lot about yourself when you travel solo. You have the time to think about your life, you have the time to put everything in perspective, which you don't have when you travel in a group. So. Yeah, I do enjoy travels, traveling solo and I never get bored because I, I have the chance to meet a lot of people. I'm not just giving attention to my group or to that friend with whom I travel. You make a lot of friends when you travel solo, you meet a lot of people when you travel solo and the only thing that annoys me a little bit is the meals, but I'm used to do the meals alone. So And it's pretty funny because when you travel solo, everybody wants you to eat a lot <laughs> because I don't know if they are just concerned about you being solo, uh, I don't know, everybody wants to be a mother and everybody wants to to, to see you eat. <laughs> it's pretty cool, you have the chance to be more open to, to meet another people and you are more available to do it. I, I never get bored traveling solo. Yeah, it's pretty fun actually. The second thing people ask me often is, what if you get sick? Well, yeah, this is one thing that really concerns me because it's a vulnerable situation and I always, always do travel insurances that covers all the, the health issues. It also covers my family expenses if they need to meet me in the country. I mean, I really advise you to make a good travel insurance or to make sure that your your credit card, for example, covers has an insurance for your trip. So make sure you have a good travel insurance. Another thing people ask me is, what if you get lost? Well, guys, I do get lost on the supermarket. I do get lost on the mall when I'm going shopping. I am really used to get lost, but nowadays it's fine you have GPS on your phone. Even if you are walking on a city, you can turn on your GPS. And even if the GPS sends you to some place where you're not supposed to be, well, stop and ask people, talk to people. Everybody is always available to, to help. Well, generally, I think 99.9% .9 of, of the people in the world are, are genuinely, genuinely good and they want to help you. Well, I think it's the, the most important question everybody asks me is, is it safe to travel solo? Well, it is, and I've already explained my thought about it on my travel uh, video about India. And yeah, it's, it's safe to travel solo, but of course you have to be careful. As you have to be careful on your country, on your city, everywhere. Just trust your guts. Don't don't do anything stupid like walking on a street late at night or on desert uh, areas. Just be careful. Don't go to dangerous places. You can inform yourself before the, the trip you're going to make what are the dangerous zones on that place and don't do anything stupid and you'll be fine. Yeah, generally safe. You have to be careful with your your stuff like your cameras or your phone, your money, everything because the most common crime you will find it's pickpocketing so it's fine you're not going to be kidnapped or something so well another thing people ask me a lot is what do you rather do solo traveling or group traveling well i think i already explained that in the previous parts of the video i really prefer to travel solo I do enjoy traveling just like with a friend or two, 
but not big groups because I, I'm not I'm not a group person actually when it concerns when when it's about traveling. Yeah, groups are cool, but you have to because when you are in a group, mostly all the trips are uh, planned, and um, it's more comfortable actually traveling group. But when you travel in group, you have to stick to the plans, you have to stick to the schedule, you have to do whatever is planned and organized for you. And I don't like that. I like to change my plans. If I wake up in the morning and I don't feel like going to the museum, I will just go, I don't know, to a park or to walk on the streets of a city. So I like to adjust my plans according to the situation. I don't like to be in strict plans. And I had not so pleasant experience. It was not bad or traumatic, but I had a not so good experience traveling with a group where everybody wanted to go shopping and I didn't want to go shopping. I was, it was planned to go to the museum and everybody was, oh, let's skip the museum and let's go shopping. No, I had the museum to go. I don't, I'm not a shopping person, <laughs> but that's my problem, not theirs. Yeah, I do prefer travel solo or eventually with one or two friends, not more than that. I hope you had enjoyed the video, if you have any other questions about traveling solo just let me know on the comments, I will, it will be a pleasure to help you and uh, especially if you are a, a woman uh, and you want to start traveling solo and you have some questions and doubts uh, just let me know in the comments and I will be glad to help you. See you soon on the next video, bye!